Hold time study. Hold time shall be established for dispensed raw materials and packaging materials in process product or intermediate product or bulk product. Here bulk product means any pharmaceutical product that has completed all processing stages but not including final packaging. Intermediate is the partly processed product that must undergo further manufacturing steps before it becomes a bulk product. Although hold time shall be established for dirty equipment and cleaned equipment in cleaning validation, we are not going to discuss them now and will be discussed in another session. Hold time study is performed to establish acceptable time limit or validity for which the quality of bulk or intermediate in storage vessel is remained of appropriate quality before processing to the next stage and meet acceptable limits. For example, if 10 days of hold time study is already established for the bulk product X in storage vessel SS001 at not more than 25 degrees centigrade. Later if suppose, one batch of bulk product manufacturing completed on 1st August 2021. The bulk batch of product X shall be kept under hold for packaging up to 10th August 2021 when stored in storage vessel SS001 at storage conditions not more than 25 degrees centigrade. To perform hold time study. A whole time study protocol should be prepared, reviewed and approved by the appropriate personnel as relevant. For example the protocol for bulk whole time study shall be prepared by QA or R&D or production personnel and shall be reviewed by quality control or R&D or production and shall be approved by QA storage vessel in which the whole time is going to be established should be cleaned as per the standard procedure and kept ready. If any simulated storage vessel is used for establishing whole time justification or similarity in view of volume of the container and space occupied in the vessel should be provided. Training shall be imparted to the personnel involved in the study before initiating the study. The purpose of training is to make aware of personnel for maintaining storage vessel at storage conditions mentioned in the protocol timely sampling and testing as per the plan for the study. Specifications and test procedure should be made available to the analysts for testing of samples during and after hold time. The hold time study protocol should contain at least purpose, scope, storage conditions, details of hold time, sampling intervals, sample quantities to be collected, details on testing, instructions for handling changes or deviations, instructions for recording hold time results. The purpose of protocol is to provide main aim or target of document. That is if your aim is to establish hold time for the bulk product X then the purpose will be to lay down the plan for establishing hold time for the product bulk of product X. The scope should provide the details regarding for which product. The hold time is going to be established that means the scope should include the details of product name, bulk or intermediate or in process material code batch size and stage of product or material that means the material under hold is bulk or intermediate or dispensed raw materials etc. Under the title storage conditions, the details at which storage conditions the product under study is going to be stored. For example if the whole time study established for intermediate or bulk product at storage conditions of temperature not more than 25 degrees centigrade the intermediate or bulk product should be stored at same storage conditions when it is under hold for next stage.
Study design is to for how many days the hold time is going to be established. Should be mentioned based the in-house requirements. For example after manufacturing the intermediate product if it may take up to 10 days in worst case for adding that intermediate into next stage 10 days of hold time shall be established for the intermediate product. In the similar way if it takes 15 days in worst case for the filling or packing after manufacturing the bulk product hold time study should be established for 15 days. The details of sampling intervals should be provided. If the total hold time going to be established is 10 days samples shall be collected on 0th day 5th day 8th day and 10th day or on 0th day 5th day and 10th or on 0th day and 10th based on the confidence on bulk hold time. Sampling points means the points or places of storage vessel from which the samples are collected based on the volume and shape of the storage vessel samples shall be collected from top middle and bottom or from top left top center and top right etc. Sample quantity should also be provided in sampling details. Based on number of testing stations number of tests performed for each station and the amount of sample required for the tests sample quantity shall be calculated. For example if there are 10 tests at 2 stations and 5 grams sample for each test 10x 5 grams equals to 50 grams and extra quantities for repeated tests due to hours or any 100 grams approx for each single station shall be collected. The tests to be conducted for whole time study should be provided for example if granules of a finished product are studied for whole time and the in-process tests are say bulk density and moisture contents are conducted in routine then the whole time study sample also to be tested for same as say bulk density and moisture content. The specification limits also same as that of routine in-process test. Any changes to the approved protocol should be handled through change control and deviations if any during the study shall be recorded justified or evaluated through deviation procedure. All the results of hold time study e product details studied for hold time details of storage vessel used for storage of hold time study details of storage conditions under which the study was conducted time stations at which the samples are collected quantities of sample collected what are the analytical or microbial tests performed reference test procedure results of tests performed any deviations or changes to the approved protocol conclusion up to which time point the bulk or intermediate product is stable under hold etc. Thank you.